Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to bring audio from a website via LiveLink into your TriCaster. Now, LiveLink allows you to integrate HTML5 graphics into your show, but also allows you to bring in websites as well. So, in this tutorial, I will show you how to route that audio from LiveLink into your show. A great way to enhance your production. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so here I am at my TriCaster 2 Elite, and I am going to show you how to bring in a web page with audio into your production using LiveLink. Now, for a quick review of how to do that, as far as bringing the video in, we need to assign that first before we can grab the audio. So what we'll do is we'll go over to, say, one of your buffers here, and I'm going to click the plus button for that. And when I do that, that will open up a menu so I can navigate through my different files. But if I want to bring in a web page, I would go down here and select web browser, and that'll give us a web browser so that we can bring in some video with uh, audio on it. So for today's example, I'm just going to go to our YouTube page and pull up one of my old tutorial videos. Let me go ahead and full screen that so I can see the menu. So here we are on the New Tech YouTube landing page. Let's click on videos here. And I will click on this one. All right, let me blur out this ad. And while this ad's going through, uh, just to let you know, when I show this video here, this is a low frame rate preview of the video, but when I take it uh, full screen on the uh, TriCaster, it'll be full frame. So let's go ahead and just bring that full screen there. And hey, look at that handsome guy. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and close that. And now let's go ahead and bring that video on screen. So on my program row, I'm going to select buffer number one. And there you go. There's my video coming through and it's in a full frame rate. So cool. Now the next thing, I can't hear anything on here. You know, there's no audio coming through because I need to route that to one of my inputs. And this is how you do that. So I'll go to the audio mixer here and this will work on any of your inputs. So I'll click on input number one's gear icon and under connection, click this drop down and I'll go to local. Then you'll see an option here for buffer. And then you'll see that I have my 10 different buffers here. And I have my video it playing in buffer number one. So let's go ahead and select that. And hey, there are my levels coming in from my YouTube video. So anything with a video on it on, uh, on your um, live link inside of your buffers, this is how you would configure that. So you can route those however you like and then just treat it like a regular old audio source. So a very cool way to enhance your productions. Highly recommend it. Play around with it. And of course, have some fun. There you have it, another useful tool in the TriCaster tool belt. Now for more helpful tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formalized new tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.